in fucked up roommate news. Oh. That was Bart when he was living with my roommate. What? I'm, I wasn't fucked you up. You shit in the shower? Ew. He shit in the shower. Oh my god. Yep. Oh. Not? He would leave the garage. By choice. He would leave the garage door open all the time. So what garage get... door? They don't even use the garage. Okay, uh, and then he would have like a fucking jam session with Joe and all the neighbors would be complaining in the middle of the day. Not all the neighbors, uh, just one Asian he man. He fucked up the dryer and he only lived with us for like a couple months too. He so this all the dryer? How did you drive, fuck up the dryer? He it, forgot to put the lint catcher in so one of my thongs got caught in the motor. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, so that got <laughs> fucked oh, up. Yeah. Damn. He was the one. They fucking hated oh, him. Shit. They did hate my guts. They, they did. fucking, Hilarious. like that, that friendship went to shit. <laughs> The single-handedly because of art. They did. That's incredible. What'd you do about the dryer? Um, I, did I pay for the repair? I forgot. It was a long time ago. I don't remember, but I, I think Gio should have paid because of her thong on it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's her fault ultimately. Is what you're saying? That's fun. But that's how you know they're not real people, because like people that are real. They like, oh, were uppity bitches. That would have been really sure. funny. Like if someone fried my dryer because a yeah. thong got they, caught, they I would told laugh you. like crazy. That's true. If it was the only. Well, you could also buy a new dryer. That's the difference. They could too. Oh, they they were like, yeah, they were working. Why should they have? Wait, why would they have roommates yeah. then? I don't know, I'm trying to make money, I don't oh. know. No, it's not. That guy was a, a accountant and the wife was a chemist. Yeah, but why should she have, why should they have married? a dryer? Yeah, they're married. They don't, ha well, they don't have to, but what I'm saying is like, if you have the comedy bug in you, it's, that's when you can connect with people. Like for example, uh, when, when me and Jill, like in our first early years of living together, I was like, uh, we had, I brought my dog in. He's like another version of meatloaf, like a really big, strong German shepherd. And I was like, this is my, one of my favorite things to do. I go on a longboard and Tyson, this is this guy's name, he would pull me really fast. And I, that's how I'd walk him. Like he would pull me all around town. And then so I was like, babe, you gotta try it. So she gets on the thing and I, and I don't think, uh, I don't think she realized how fast Tyson can gallop. He books it, starts taking off, and then Jill's like, oh shit, this is way too fast. So she gets off the board, but she didn't prepare her legs fast enough. So the minute she, her foot touched the floor, she flew like 20, 30 feet. Of course- I still have the scars. Oh, yeah. shit. And she was like sliding on the street. Of course the boyfriend and me, it's fuck like, you. it's like, are you okay? No fucking yeah. way. But the no. duality, but the, the duality. real, but the real, the real guy This is me, what I saw. I was Wait, laughing I like saw. crazy. Down the street, this was Bart. <laughs> I was like fucking bleeding and he didn't even run to me. He just stayed there no, laughing at me. He wanted to run to you, but the duality of his existence yes. is that the he duality. can- Yeah, the split. Mm -hmm. And it's a burden, by the it's way. It's a paradox. Yeah, because you can see that what's funny, but then you also feel bad. But then afterwards, didn't I come for you? After That's I finished too laughing? Fucking late, it's bro. a blessing and a curse to have, be, have the duality. Like. Isn't it true that <laughs> isn't it true that after he after he like was finished dabbing all his tears from laughing so hard that he, he dabbing all the tears? Yeah, that he was checking. <laughs> what? And he checked on you afterwards. After right? I finished dabbing on my tears. Yeah, right? like a fucking Asian dad. He was like. And after I loosened my belt from like it suffocating my diaphragm. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, you'll be all right. So that's how I know there's like, some- you gotta take me to the hospital because I'm laughing. He's like, I'm laughing so hard I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Submitted by Golden Horse. Hmm. The man was arrested after he allegedly stole his roommate's $10 million winning lottery ticket. Oh. Why would you just leave that laying around? How will you get away with this? How do people always do this shit? Right. Mm. Yeah. That's like the clerk who's like, nope, another loser. Yeah. And, and you know what I mean? Sorry. And then they're like, you know what I mean? And then they get it all on camera, like hello. You're supposed to sign it. Right. Yeah. So maybe he just didn't read that. I don't think that. a lot of people do that. Nobody reads no it. No one does that, yeah. Even when you win, you don't read it. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> Have you won anything ever? I've won, I've won uh, like 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. From a scratcher? It's a pretty big winner, yeah. Mm. So this man here, he paid $30 for a scratch off ticket. Um, so he thought that he won $10,000 because it was a winning ticket. Mm -hmm. So he went home, he told his roommates, and his 35-year-old roommate named Adul, he attempted to cash in the winning scratch-off ticket the next day at the same lottery office. This all takes place uh, in Sacramento, by the way. And so what he ended up doing is that he went out and he bought the same ticket, but a losing one, obviously. And so he switched it out while the roommate was sleeping. 
And so that's when he Shady. Yeah. Holy mm. Did it end up being 10 million? Because you said he thought he won 10 well, Yeah. So then later on, oh, when the roommate, the shady roommate, tried to cash it in, they were like, oh, you didn't win $10,000 you won? Or how many, how much? Yeah. 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 You won a, you won a million or 10 million. Oh my God, I can't get it right. <laughs> yeah, because you keep saying, yeah, me too. Because you keep saying 10,000 and then 10 million. I'm sorry. It's. Originally, he thought 10,000. Okay, oh. Turned out it was 10 million. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He didn't know how to calculate the winning ticket properly when he first got it. Apparently okay. not. Well, he is buying scratcher tickets. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. Or the, or Damn, like, Judgy. No, it's fine. <laughs> or the, I'm, I was a big winner. I won 20. Or maybe oh. the original guy, he knew how shady his roommate was, so he didn't want to make it too big. So yeah. in his mind, oh. he knew he won 10 million. He goes, oh yeah, I won a thousand bucks. Because he knew he might get jacked. He, he might didn't get even jacked. have to say anything. Yeah, exactly, if he knew that no, much. He shouldn't have said yeah. shit. But when you win 10 million, you, th that news got to leak out somewhere. You yeah. got to tweet it or no, tell somebody. I would not tell mm -mm. You anyone. Gotta tell I don't trust yeah, like, Hey, everybody. I don't trust anyone here. Yeah. But like, hey, everybody, I just won $10,000. I would hide like, that until it's real, until it's yeah. a real 10 million in I'm my hand. I wouldn't even doubt anyone. I'm not even telling Bart. The fact that it's winning, I'm just like, I can't Dude, believe it. Dude, I would it. fucking disappear. Yup, mm -hmm. I ain't That's even telling this Taika. <laughs> this guy's like in a Coen Brothers movie, because he's like, hey everybody, oh, I just wanted $10,000. They're like, well, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> yeah, <I was laughs> and I'll leave it on the coffee table. Yeah, right. I know, yeah. it's like, where did he it's leave It's a trap. That? Wait, so what happened? I gotta know. So when he went in to go cash it, he was like, oh no, this is a losing ticket. So he was like, what the hell, I had a winning ticket. So then he went to the police station and he filed a report, because he was like, you know what, like someone stole it, like someone switched it out. And that's how they were able to come to the conclusion that the other roommate tried to cash in because it was at the same office too. Um, Thank God he was dumb. Yeah. And so they, that's how, so then when they told him, they told him to fill out this whole claim thing and then come back later to pick up your winnings. When he went to go pick up the winnings, he got arrested. Wait, how did they know that the original roommate was telling the truth? Maybe surveillance? Like, yeah. like what if it was the first guy that won that much and he's, and he like, because they have records of the exact ticket number uh, that you received from that transaction, and it's like from the store. No, but how do they know? Oh, it's and the if camera. They use credit card, maybe. If they okay. use credit card. You can't use, use credit cops, card. Man. You can only yeah. use cash. If I was the cop, I'd have been you like, can. "Oh yeah, you had a winning ticket here. <laughs> yeah, did you, <laughs> win? you won dollars. the lottery, and then you lost it. You know, like I mean, yeah. you know, I'd be a dick cop. I think they take the lottery pretty seriously, though, because yeah, I feel do. like every time someone wins, and then they tell a family member or a friend, like a murder's bound to happen. Oh yeah. They yeah. probably don't even let you cash it right away, too, just no. to see what. They like, go through a thorough investigation for anything other or higher than six hundred dollars. You have damn. to do like this claim yeah. and everything. Uh, so this is the roommate that stole it. He got charged for, with grand theft. That guy looks like he steals everything. <laughs> and I was like, why would you tell this guy? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. He he's like, I, I'll even steal a kiss. A kiss? <laughs> you know, he's not. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> he's a real thief. That guy. He stole hearts, huh? Yeah, yeah. That fool looks like he'll steal your forks, fucking everything. <laughs> <laughs> Random missing chopsticks. Toilet paper? <laughs> chopsticks? Yeah. yeah, anything. Even fucking cotton balls out of your cotton jar thing. I like the idea that he replaces all of it with something shittier. <laughs> he replaces yeah. your forks with plastic forks. Yeah. And then he's like, no, nah, those are just your forks. Yeah. And then he replaces your cotton balls with like rubber bands. And he's like, I couldn't figure out something that was like kind of compared. Worse than a cotton ball. He's like, you have to forgive me. <laughs> Yeah, so now they're saying that he can be sentenced up to one year in county jail or up to three years in state prison. Damn, Tawal, yeah. you fucked up, you little shady bitch. What did his roomie say? Was he like, that shady motherfucker? Probably. They I want a quote. They don't give me a quote. <laughs> yeah, that's all I know. So now uh, the lottery officials, they were like, well, I don't know. We can't be certain if he's going to get hit the winning person, if he's going to get his payment. But then at the end, he concluded the email with, although I'm sure everything will work out in the end. Can Smiley you, face. Can you pull up his picture again of the bad guy? How would how would they be not be sure that the winning person could get his payment? Right, yeah, I know. I was like, up. that's imagine, to get the real quick. I'm sure he will. Imagine you want, you just won the lottery. And then you walk up to this guy and you're like, hey man, I just won 10 grand. Like that's what this guy did. He goes up to that guy and tells him he won 10 grand. Like look at that motherfucker. I wonder what the victim looks like then. Don't judge a book by its like cover, it Steve. I wouldn't even tell him that my shoes were $40. Judging right. a book by its cover, the cover's pretty apparent. He's a yeah. fucking thief. He's getting a mugshot. What are you talking about? Arrested, Nikki. <laughs> you what are you nice? You're hating a backstory yeah, already this? knowing the backstory. You? If I was a police officer and I saw this guy walking on the street, I would just tackle him. <laughs> yeah. And you know what the citizens would do? 
Yep. And I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out the crime that he did. Fucking hero. Maybe that's been happening to him all his life, so he's been like, damn, if people are gonna treat me like the bad guy anyway, might as well just be a bad guy. It's just his mugshot. Just so like. Like damn, dude. Yeah, man. He's like. You. I mean, this is his face. Right. He's like, say something. Yeah, basically. He looks like he's wanted in another this. country. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's what he looks like. That's, that's my bad guy mugshot. He's like, <laughs> Damn. If you ever get arrested, you have to. I will do that. I will do it. <laughs> so you'll get arrested yeah, so why that not? you can get that. And then like, everyone will be like, yeah, that guy is guilty as fuck. <laughs> it's like, you mean that guy? You're just doing a Waluigi impression? Yeah, basically, yeah. It's pretty good. Nobody knows that reference here but you. I think, I think is it the know. purple suit guy? Yeah. Purple? Yeah. Oh, See? Okay. You got close. You got close. No. That, what do you mean close? He does wear a purple suit. He's from Mario Super Brothers. Yeah. yeah. Super Brothers. <laughs> Mario Super Brothers. What is it? <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. Close enough. Oh, no, it's cute. Close enough. You're cute is what I'm saying. <laughs> Mario Super Thanks. Brothers. Um, Sometimes Tiff is in the water and she's like, where's the pool? I'm like, <laughs> you just nailed it. You completely nailed it. But because of situations yeah, yeah. where I think I'm in the water, I'm in the desert. <laughs> and no. everyone's like, ha ha, she thinks she's in the water. <laughs> she's dumb. You don't know what it's like. I love it. I love it. <laughs>